filming from Dragon 2016. I'm here at the booth of AEG with Robert, who has agreed to tell us about a new game that has been released today by AEG, and the game is called Fantasy. So like Yahtzee, but with fantasy in right. it. Thank you, Robert. Hi. So, the, like Marco said, this is a kind of a mashup of Yahtzee and kind of like Smash Up. So it's a it's a really neat integration of both concepts. So the game basically has different monsters that you're trying to attack to get victory points. So you can do that through heroes and uh, action cards. So you're going to have five cards that'll be in your hand. And so it does. There's no cost associated, but you get to play two heroes like these, and then two actions like these. And so mm -hmm. the goal being that we want to be able to activate our heroes to be able to get its attack power to be able to kill any of the monsters we want to that are face up. Mm -hmm. So the way we activate our monsters is then rolling dice. So everyone starts with the ability to roll five dice. So we roll them. And then I use, and now I have to figure out how I can use these dice mm -hmm. to activate my heroes. So this is two of any kind of dice. So two of uh, one number. So I don't have it, or three of one number. And there's also so any number, but any the number, same but two of a kind, mm -hmm. right? Or a three of a kind. And some heroes will produce another resource called steam. So Ooh. some of these uh, will have steam or dice. So two different ways to activate. So I don't have any way to activate any of these heroes, so then I have to ask myself, do I want to save some dice, or do I want to re-roll all of them, because I can re-roll two times. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and decide, I'll go ahead and try and keep a two, and I want to re-roll all of these. So the ones that you do not re-roll, you have to commit to specific heroes, no. or this is just your own I can, growing reminder? I could save this, Perfect. but if I choose to commit it, then that dice is locked. Yeah. But I don't want to commit to. it just yet. Yeah. I just wanted so. to know if you had to commit them before you roll. All right. So, so this is the reason why I don't want to commit. So I yep. rolled two of a kind on this one. So now I could take those two fives and activate that card. Uh -huh. But I have one more reroll. So I can hope and reroll, maybe get three of a kind. I doubt it. Came pretty close though. Yeah. So because I couldn't activate this one, this hero will basically be out of play, but I still own it. So now I got three attack. So I can look and see if I can hit anything for three. And I have two options. I have these two monsters right here. So now I have to ask myself, is it worth it? Because the monsters can hit me as well. Huh. So I've got to look for a monster that will say counterattack. If it says counterattack, it's going to hit me almost as soon as I'm done attacking it. Since I don't have to worry about it counterattack, I can hit one of these and not worry about it attacking me yet. So I got three, I'm gonna go ahead and attack this guy. And so now I have one more attack. I could look to see if I could attack something else, but nothing's available. Mm -hmm. So then I'm not going to. So I could attack that, I could attack this one or this one because my three attack. The reason why I'm going to choose this one is because this stack is very important. If there's a monster face up on this one, it will automatically attack the village. Oh, I see. And the village is going to be negative victory points as well as usually some kind of bad effect as well. So because I attacked this monster, I'm not going to have to worry about the village this turn. So now I will lay this card in front of me. I have to look to see if it says counterattack. It doesn't but it does have a treasure. So now I can reveal a treasure card, and because it's got one treasure chest, I get the level one treasure ability. Some monsters will have two treasure chests. Then you would get the level two treasure ability. So I can only attach it to an activated hero. Now I will create a victory point pile, and now I have to see what the monsters will do back. So now I look, I saved the village, that's good, so I don't have to worry about that. Now I flip a card, and now I have to look for what's called ambush. I got one, two, three ambush. That means it's going to hit me for three damage. So it will only attack activated heroes. I have one activated hero. So therefore, it only takes one damage to kill a hero. So. He's dead, and I lose my treasure. Oh. 
bummer. So, but that's the neat part of this game. You have to anticipate you will kill a lot of heroes off. <laughs> that's the whole point of the game. So, so you, you don't get too attached right, to the heroes. Don't feel bad about your heroes dying. There is a ton of them right there. Excellent. So what you're doing is now you just want to keep going through because now you will eventually go through your stack. There will be a level two monster uh -huh. and there will be boss monsters. Ooh. If you defeat a boss monster, you will flip these doom tokens over to signify you killed one and when you kill three boss monsters, it's game over. And then everyone adds up their victory points and you see who wins. Sounds great. Thank you so much for giving us a good a good picture of fantasy so that the players that cannot be here can get a good, a good sense or those that haven't stopped by the AG booth maybe they'll become curious and stop by and give it a try. You're Thank you welcome. again. Thank you very much.